Hey guys, I'm here with Connor, and we're going to do a comparison video today for our, the uh, penny nickel board and versus the original penny. So to get this started, we want to start on the board sizes. So how big is your board? So my board, the total length from tip to tail is 22 inches long. And then how wide is that one? And it's six inches wide at its widest point right here. And it also has uh, a tail, um, whatever this thing is called. Kicktail. Kicktail, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, you can pop out all these too. Yeah, and then for this board, the penny nickel board, this is 27 inches long and seven and a half inches wide. And so the larger size of this board actually makes it a little bit better for um, beginners because you have a lot more um, deck space to work with and you know, it's a little bit easier to ride than that one, but yeah. this will um, tell you the advantages of that size. Uh, pretty much it just turns a lot better because obviously the trucks are three inches instead of four inches, which we'll go into in a little bit later, but yeah. Um, it's a little bit more snappy because it's smaller. It's not as easy to ride, obviously because it's smaller. But it's definitely snappier and you can carve tighter because of the smaller wheels, or uh, trucks. So going on to the truck sizes, this, the Penny Nickel board has four inch trucks. And that has three inch trucks. So it's just an inch difference on them. And the wheels are both 59 millimeter penny wheels. So whatever penny combination you get, whatever penny board, you're going to get the same exact wheels, exactly. 59 millimeter. And then um, they come stock with a uh, penny board, I guess in the bearings, yeah. but yeah, Apex 7 bearings. Um, they work pretty well, but after a while you'll want to change them out, so. In here I have Bones Super Reds. You can get Bones Reds too, like he has in his board. This is not his. This is my brother, he's a cameraman. But yeah, you can get um, Bones Reds that are just like 20 bucks, I think, and they're mm -hmm. really good, they last you a long time. These have been going for like two years. Yeah, you saw me unbox my Penny Nickel, and so I put some um, Bones Reds on those, like he said, and they makes the board way quicker and a lot more easy to ride, person I believe, personally. And his bushings are pretty, are different from stock. I have the stock bushings on here. Yeah, so the stock bushings work well. As you see, we tighten these too much and they kind of <laughs> bent out of shape. Um, if you want to get them tighter, if you're new, don't want to turn too much, you probably want to change out the bushings. Or the other extreme, if you want a more carvy setup, you probably want, I want some of these. So these are um, cone bushings. I think they're ADA, so. I can get speed on them because of the, the hardness, but I can also carve pretty well. And I also mm -hmm. have the, um, the metal part next to the bushings. A spacer, bushing, yeah. Bushing, spacer, whatever. I have the flat ones. Um, so they're expensive, but they're really responsive and it helps a uh, tighter carve. And I want to mention, guys, these two boards both have a kicktail one side and a flat side on the other side, so there's no kicktail in the front. Um, the only difference really is the board size, they're both made of the same exact plastic, unless you choose to get a penny organic. Um, but yeah, as we were saying before, that's a little bit better for travel because of its smaller size. Yeah, it could, it's five inches smaller, so almost like a half a foot difference. So, and also not only that, but it's narrower and yeah. it's, the trucks are smaller, so it's gonna be lighter. You can fit on a backpack better, because the average backpack yeah. I brought the, my penny nickel board to California, and it was a little bit more of a handful than that would be, but, you know, this one is, both boards are still pretty aptly suited for um, travel. A lot more so than, you know, a regular long board. And so, that's another thing. Can it, either of these boards really replace a long board? What's your opinion? Um, well, obviously they can't replace, <clears throat> they obviously can't replace. <coughs> Sorry, guys. They obviously can't replace them because, um, well, they can replace maybe a like cruiser longboard, but they can't replace a downhill longboard, tuck sliding longboard, a free riding you know longboard. What? Oh my lord. Oh, okay. That's okay. You can edit it out. Yeah, Alright, guys. Sorry for that um, little distraction. So, so yeah, they can. They can't, in the long run, replace most longboards, 
But they are good if you just want to see if you want to get to some cruising because they're yeah. like half the price of just a regular longboard. Much cheaper than regular longboards. This you can get for about 100 bucks. we found actually on tactics.com. That was about 80 bucks. Yeah. The customized version, if you get, choose to get it customized on Penny's website, this will be 140 bucks. Well, that's not customized. This is not a customized one, but yeah, I paid 140 bucks for my customized one. And you can, it, it's 120 bucks for the uh, 22 inch long to get it customized. Yeah, but um, if you're gonna get stocks, so they have like some cool color scheme stock options. I had red wheels on it, so I got a stock. It was a blue deck, white trucks, um, red wheels. And this one's stock too, so this is 100 mm -hmm. on Penny's official website, and that's 120. And the nice thing is, they are from Australia, but they have a, I guess, a ship, shipping place. Where they can make boards and sell boards in California, so it'll come to you faster if you're in the U.S. Although it took a while for me to get mine. Because yours was custom. Yeah, because I customized one, so wait, expect a, like a two-week wait. Um, a customized one. Um, so, yeah, that almost wraps this up. I will point out, though, that both have the same exact grip tape. Um, no matter which one you get, and he put vicious grip tape on his. And you can buy them with grip tape if you want on them. We didn't, this traction's fine for bare feet. That's yeah, it's okay. mostly made for barefooted um, riding, but if it's, you put, it's pretty grippy with shoes too. Yeah, and if you put some, I have Vicious, so it's a little rough, but if you put some soft, when you dress up and you sand it down a little bit, it can be fine for bare feet too. Uh, one thing I want to point out also though is the hardware of this board, I think just pennies, regular hardware. But I did ride mine in the rain and it did get rusted out. I don't know if it's through or if it's just the top. But it's yeah, probably just a layer. I'm sure it's all right. I mean, I've ridden mine in the wet weather a little bit, and it's still all right. But um, you should expect good durability out of these boards. They should last a few years. He's had his for over a year and a half now. Like two and a half years, yeah. And his dad accidentally, I kind of lost control of the board, and it went under his tire. It's just like so. a regular compact five-seater car, but it got run over. And the plastic just bent right to the ground and then came right back up. Yeah, and so good durability. And it didn't gain any concave. And that's another thing too, if you're gonna get like a Globe Bantam, it is like 40 bucks cheaper, but it in a year they have Bantams and it got so much concave, like you yeah. stand on it and it'll almost reach the ground. The plastic wears a lot quicker on Bantams. Um, the banana board actually I think has held up the best um, in terms of the, the deck. It's stayed true to the form over a long period of time, so. Um, but they don't have a 27 inch model, so Gold Cup, if you're listening, we want a 27 inch model of your Please. banana board. Please. So, we're not sponsored by anyone. If you like this video, guys, we uh, would like a like and a comment, and if you like what you see on our channel, you can subscribe to our channel. Only if you want to. And we'll try to get out at least uh, one or two videos monthly. We're going to try to have a little bit more of a regular upload. So Not so randomized snows in the past. Yeah. Day, but like two videos in like a week. A little and bit more difficult like because of two winter. Gap, two month gap. So yeah. Um, winter time. It's winter and now it's uh, end of February. We're not going to have too many videos of us riding the boards, but we'll make more reviews and then come summertime. And unboxings. Yeah. And unboxings. And then summertime we'll have more riding the boards because we live in New York. Um, and then maybe we'll make a couple videos in the summer that we'll upload in the winter. But for the most yeah. part, it'll stay like in that order. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.